it's looking brats aka dom and i've been holding off on filming new videos i don't know why i just feel like i haven't had the time i haven't had the patience i've had other videos and things to edit and i have been kind of detouring from social media content creation to work on the website lookingbrats.com if you didn't know it <laughs> and just trying to focus on making edits on there, sort of revamping that and, you know, the whole thing. But I I don't have a ton of stuff right now, but I do have some stuff that I just want to open. I figured this would be a good opportunity to just like talk and I feel like I just need to like <laughs> talk about things and I don't know like, I've had like things on my mind about the doll community, about my role that I play in the doll community. And I've also just, you know, I've been like overwhelmed lately and I feel like it might just be nice to talk. So I hope y'all are down to join me for this ride and just like chill and check out some stuff I've got because I got some stuff here, but I don't even know where to start. Like I have like things like I've accumulated things over the past month. And I feel like that's always the case with me is like I'll accumulate things. And sometimes I just won't get to like opening them or like doing anything with them just because like I want to film a video about it and I just don't have the time to film a video and all that kind of stuff. But I guess like kind of going through some things that I got recently. I feel like this might have been like four weeks ago right now, but I went to Primark and they had more Brad stuff, so they had a water bottle. It's cute. It's got like, um, it's like a very like, like a stickery, like basic design and it has the Bratz logo. So it's not very like Bratz, but it has Bratz branding on it. But this pencil case is cute. I do like this pencil case. It has Mars artwork on it. And you could also use this as like a makeup bag, I guess. And oh, I found there's this store. I it's called like um Ibisu. E Ibisu? I'm not sure. And it's like a Japanese store in the mall. And they have some cute stuff there. They have like those cute little like it's like sticker dolls. I got my friends a few. They had the Bratz phone charm. I got the Bratz phone charm. It's kinda like just like a beaded charm with the Bratz logo here. And Primark stuff is like cheap usually, so this is only like $3.50. So I'm not expecting the most, but they also have this phone case that was Bratz branded. And it actually does have the stickers in there with Mars artwork. So I thought that was pretty cute, six bucks. So I was like, you know what? If it's Bratz, it's mine. I have these nails. I don't know if I'll ever use them. <laughs> I just thought they were cute. And then they have a, like a lot of Barbie stuff lately and actually I have this pillow that's really cute but it's on the couch right now. But they have this charger and then they, I like this part, like the part of the logo. Hold on. Also, as a heads up, you might hear some like background noise, like fans going because it's hot. Like it's 81 degrees in my room right now and I do not have a working AC unit. Can't really afford one right now. So hopefully I can afford one soon. <laughs> But this pillow was pretty cute. I liked it. I know it's like weird because I think I did get this like a month and a half ago thinking about it. So it's like, wow, I haven't really, I haven't really talked about this stuff yet. It's kind of strange. Like I'm usually like really like, I want to talk about it and I want to, you know, do it for YouTube or do some sort of social media post. I did post about it like after the Barbie movie trailer came out. But now I feel like that was like a minute ago. That was last month. And I feel like time, and I say this I think often, so I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record, but I do tend to repeat myself a lot if you haven't noticed. I'm also just gonna unbox this right now because I do want to use this charger. I feel like just like time is like so weird like this past year. Like I, I feel like a lot of stuff happened to me a year ago and it's so weird to think that a year has passed by and it's like, you know, so much has happened in that year alone. Like, 
since I graduated from grad school, it's been it's been a weird, odd journey. There's been a lot of ups and downs. Like a lot, I feel like a lot of downs. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like I've really uh, changed a lot in my life. I started doing YouTube stuff. And I was really shocked that, like, you know, I, I've been on YouTube and, like, posting consistently. I wasn't sure this also this is hard to open for some reason. <laughs> but, yeah, I've been surprised I've been posting on YouTube consistently. And I guess I've built, like, a nice following on here, and I'm really grateful for the following I've built. I can't say that, like, I've grown into, like, this, like, big YouTube thing, but, like, I have... 5,000 at the moment subscribers and I think that's pretty big and I think it's hard to I know for me personally like I have to understand that everything is like a growing thing and everything comes in time like if you want to grow on social media but I don't know it's hard to like not compare myself to people who are like in similar positions who might have like you know more followers or more this or more that they have more opportunities more sponsorships more um, PR coming in and I'm not doing what I do for like the sake of that like if an opportunity comes along like like of course I'll take it like if it's right and I do feel like last year like the end of last year I had a lot of like cool like PR stuff happen and then I had like the Bratz event which we'll get into because there's some a little bit of tea with that but not like on that but like on something surrounding that but I just feel like, I don't know how to explain it. Sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough to like maybe like let myself grow. And I have to, I feel like I have to be easier on myself. Like that's the other thing is like, I can't be too hard on myself. Like I have to understand like my boundaries, my limits of what I can do, what kind of content I can create. And uh, this probably sounds like such like a <laughs> like not everybody can relate to this issue um but some somebody recently posted on twitter about it cyber angel and he like i like the way that he had brought it up was like you know we're content creators are always trying to grow and to you know create things and to like attract people but sometimes it's like just tiring to like trying to keep up with certain things and Sometimes, like, I felt like last year, like, towards the end of last year, I was just producing content to the point where I did burn out and I didn't feel good. And I, I felt like I kept having to do something and do something and do something because I was trying to, like, keep up and it was really burning me out. And I've, I'm telling myself, I'm, I can't go back to that point. I can't get back to that place. Like, I have to take it easy, really you know, chill. And I feel like that's why, like, I have things that just accumulate now, right? <laughs> like, it's, like, me trying to, like, take it easy and not stress myself out. So I guess it's better that way, but sometimes I'm, like, I don't know, like, I should be, like, doing a video, or I should be editing a video, or I should be doing this for the website, or I should be taking a picture, or I should be doing something. And it's hard, and, like, sometimes I'm, like, chill. Um... And it's hard, like, I see, like, my my peers, like, people who I do respect and stuff, like, I feel like sometimes, like, they're, like, struggling and, I, like, you know, it worries me when I see them and I feel like they're going to burn out. And I don't even know if I want to talk more about that. But, like, I, I feel like there's, like, uh, creators who have gotten to the point where they can just throw out anything and it doesn't even have to be, like, a good product. And that's, like, not even, is it shady? It might be shady, sorry they just throw out something and like it will attract people and i'm like whoa like that must be nice to just have that but i also know that comes with um like building your platform but that's not something i'd want to do i don't want to just throw something out and be like eat it <laughs> like here like take this food no i want it to be something that's like worth consuming and it's whatever. I don't know if I... I hope I'm making sense. I'm hoping I'm explaining this correctly. It's just, like, stuff on my mind where... It's gross. <laughs> it's just stuff on my mind of, like... I... I don't see how some people have built their platforms off of what they've been doing. And I hate to say that. 
and it's not no it's nobody that I'm close with so like if you see me like if I'm friends with someone like I'm friends with them like I'm not whatever like I'm not that person where I'm gonna be like you suck and I'm gonna I'm not gonna be like like I'm cordial with people I'm cordial with like everybody though um I don't I try not to like start fights I try not to engage in drama but recently people have been trying to push me to my limit um but I I don't really engage in drama I try to be as cordial as possible but with my friends like they are my friends like it's not just like about being cordial it's about being a friend so that's a whole other thing so my friends who are creators like they know they know who they are um but then sometimes I see other people who I feel like I don't know how to describe it I don't think they're First of all, I don't think they're very nice people, at least not behind the scenes. I'm not naming names, so whatever. It's just hard, like, you know, seeing people who may not be the best people, like, morally, ethically, get ahead. And then it feels like content creators, and not even just myself, it feels like other content creators who are making such genuine content, who are producing content that is true to who they are and like you know they're they're proud of their craft they can't seem to get ahead they can't seem to get by so it's hard seeing that sometimes and I don't know I hope I'm not <laughs> I'm hoping I'm not sounding shady but it I, it's the truth it's the truth so I feel like that's been my struggle honestly for the past few months honestly just seeing that but I guess that's how things happen like I can't change it I can't change the structure I can't tell people don't don't watch that person do watch this person all I can do is put out my best content my peers can put out their best content and you know the people that we attract I'm grateful that I could attract anybody really like, like I'm grateful that anybody cares enough to watch me <laughs> cares enough to hear about my opinions about dolls about little pieces of plastic so yeah, I'm grateful. If you're watching this, I'm most likely grateful for you. Unless you're hate watching, then I'm grateful that you're giving me ad revenue. I don't know. Because <laughs> I know there are people hate watching. And that boggles my mind. There are people who dislike me, who will still engage with my content, but dislike me. And I don't care if somebody dislikes me. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not a people pleaser. I'm not gonna please everybody. I'm not... I'm not everybody's cup of tea, and I know that. And as much as, like, you know, I'll be cordial, I'll be nice, I can do everything right in my head, and it might might not be the next person's cup of tea. Like, I don't know. But I feel like I hate watching, and, like, I see, if I dislike somebody, if I, if I don't, you know, if I, if I'm not with you or your crew, <laughs> Does that sound right? I will not engage with your content. I won't even look at your content. I won't comment on your content. I won't like your content. I'm not, I'm putting you on mute. If we're being honest, I'm most likely I've put you on mute. And uh, I just, I don't see the point of going into people's like, you know, I'm going to watch this person and I'm going to hate on them. But lately there's been one particular person i know there's several but one particular person who i've noticed who has been keeping tabs on me and made this like whole hate account on facebook about me and i'm like little old me like why me <laughs> like why do you care about me like i honestly for the most part i feel like i do mind my business but I think I know who the person is because it's a hate page, but, you know, I can't, I don't know who it is behind it exactly, but I think I do know the person behind it, and it does boggle my mind because this is somebody who I have been very friendly with, who I considered a friend at some point, and honestly, like, I knew there was probably some underlying issues with certain things, but it, I never, I, I knew that at the end of the day it wasn't, like, my issues like it was because I was getting like opportunities I got invited to the Bratz party um, but that was like one small like you know I mean not one small thing it was a huge thing 
but you know that's just like one opportunity that i got and as much as it was a big opportunity like i feel like um the mindset of like you know sorry i feel like something just clicked in my head <laughs> because i've been feeling this sense of imposter syndrome lately where i've been like you know i feel so left out sometimes and i sometimes feel like you know maybe my content is so niche that it could be isolating um some people but i also do have to understand that my content isn't for everyone uh sorry things are clicking things are <laughs> working in my head see this is why i think i need to talk about it but sorry i'm not even like opening things i'm just talking and i you know i have some stuff i have some hello kitty stuff that i thought was really cute from five below five below has been my jam lately let me start opening this stuff i got this little dancing karopi i always thought karopi looked like pretty princess's icon like yasmin's pretty princess icon i found the mermaid slime and i i jokingly posted a poll saying do you want me to do a video like a review on this and some people said yes and i kind of want to just for like funsies and that's the thing is like i will do content that i think is fun like if i want to do a review on like mermaid slime like i feel like i should have every right to but I do think my engagement suffers from it. But I'm also like, if it makes me happy to like do a silly little video, then I'll do it. And sometimes like, you know, things like are nice, like they'll pan out. And then other times it's like, nobody gets it. Nobody's into it. It's whatever, I guess. It really is not everybody's cup of tea. I'll start opening and I'll, I'll keep talking. But anyways, I feel like this one person, do I have a pair of scissors? I need scissors. And why did I think I had scissors? I do have my scissors here. That's amazing news. I love good news. Love good news. Anyways, it was just hiding. So, whatever. Like, I got an opportunity that was really cool. I heard through the grapevine that this person was upset about it. And part of me is like, you know what? Like, I wish that <clears throat> more people could have opportunities like that. Of course, like, I don't want to, like gatekeep those opportunities um and that's what i have been feeling lately is like sometimes like i feel like opportunities might be gatekept from me but i'm also like you know like i can't expect to be part of everything as much as i would love to be like you know i guess so if it's not right it's not right if it doesn't happen it's not meant to happen and i think i just have to accept that i have my little dancing karopi does he just turn oh he needs batteries do i have enough batteries for him I'm down on batteries. Okay, so my little dancing Kuropi needs like a little screwdriver moment. So right now he's not gonna be dancing, but he is very cute. Just cause like, I know there's like things coming up from certain brands and I'm like, oh, like I'd love to be like part of that thing. Or like, you know, like I love this opportunity that someone's gotten, but I also have to understand like, you know, I can't, I can't expect everything, whatever. <laughs> And I think that's that person who who will remain unnamed, who I do think it, I, I'm, I, I'm almost certain, like, the behavior and the way this person has been, like, trying to, like, taunt me. This person, and I posted this on Twitter, and maybe I shouldn't have brought attention to it, but I was just kind of like, you know what, like, I'm tired. I work I feel like I'm working constantly lately. I'm so sorry if my boss or my supervisor is watching this because they know I do this YouTube stuff. They know that I do social media. But I'm tired at work. Like, there's been so much happening and we've been, like, losing staff. And I feel like I've had to pick up a lot of pieces. And we've all had to pick up a lot of pieces at work, but... I feel like I have especially have, like, picked up a lot of pieces lately and it's been, like... I'm taking a uh, almost two week vacation and I'm thankful for that. But I know when I get back, like, I feel like I'm going to be overwhelmed. But going back to, to what I was trying to say, you're going to hear me go off on tangents. That's how I roll. So this person's just been like leaving like weird comments, but what they'll do. And I learned this recently is I think that you can make a Facebook page and you can limit who sees it. And so if you want one person to see it, they can see it. If you don't want anybody to see it, they don't have to see it. And I think this one person is limiting their page to just me. And then commenting weird things under my Facebook posts. Like, on Facebook. Like, you're a Facebook thug? Anyways. 
<laughs> it's just like so ridiculous. I'm sorry. I love, I have a love hate relationship with Facebook as a platform, like in terms of like my content and the way that it gets consumed on there. But I have a pretty large following on Facebook, which is kind of like hilarious to me. It was like the last place I expected to have a following that is close in number to my Instagram, which remains like my highest if you don't count my website stats. My website stats out trump everything else that I've done. My website stats are like, ugh. Anyways, yeah, I, I feel like, I can't say I even feel bad that this person is like upset like maybe at the time I would have felt a little bit more bad but the fact that they're like you know doing this like they're taking the time out of their day to try to harass me but doing it in a sense where hello kitty figures they're very cute I've been like in my hello kitty bag lately and oh my god sorry this is one is so adorable <laughs> I've I've been in a you know I was mad as I might sound, as upset as I might sound, I've actually been in a really great mood lately. And I don't want to say why, but I've been in a really amazing mood lately. I've just been, I've been happier than I've been. I'm the happiest I've been in the past a year and a half, I would say. And that's so weird to say. <laughs> so, whatever. I don't understand why this person has been attacking me the way they've been attacking me. They've been making some really weird claims about me. Nothing that's, like, really damaging claims. Like, nothing, like... And they, they're saying, like, they're it's, like, third-grader level insults. They called me gay, hairy, and... I forgot what else. They called me something else. They called me gay, hairy... And I wanted to say they might have called me fat, but I don't think they called me fat. They called me something else, but I was like, that's the best you've got? Like, I'm sorry. I've I've dealt with bullying. I've been called worse things by my own family members. I don't think those words are going to hurt me, honey. I'm so sorry to break the news to you with these, like, these are, like, level one insults. <laughs> I just, whatever. I was like, whatever, like, I, I'm more just boggled by the fact that somebody hates me enough to, they were screenshotting my videos as they were coming out, so they were, but then they were, like, doing this thing, so, like, I don't think they even know, maybe now they'll know, that I've seen their comments, but they keep deactivating or, like, hiding the page within, like, seconds, minutes of making these very strange comments, and if it's, Oh my goodness, did my voice just crack? <laughs> if it's the person that I think it is, and they're taking the time out of their day to do this, if they're watching this, I don't want to ask why. I don't know if I even fully care why at this point. I just have to say, do something else with your life. That's it. It's not upsetting me. It's just annoying me. And maybe their goal is to annoy me. Maybe it's not to upset me. Maybe it's to annoy me. But I don't know. Maybe it's almost upsetting the fact that they have nothing else to do. But they, honestly, if it's the person who I think it is, I do think they have bigger fish to fry in their life. I should be the last of their concerns. I'm just doing what I'm doing. I'm doing what I have to do. Whatever. I'm whatever <laughs> sorry it was just like really like weird obscure things and i'm like i know like i'm gay duh i'm hairy sort of kinda <laughs> not really like i even if i was hairy is that a bad thing uh they were saying some other really obscure stuff and i'm like whatever like it's if that's what you want to believe, that's the narrative that you want to spin, whatever. So yeah, um, I've, I'm glad I got that out, but I'm also like still like, this is like the weirdest thing. I got this Clueless game. It looks cute. It's from Five Below. 
Maybe one day I'll play it. <laughs> I need to open this Princess Peach that I got probably two months ago. Emil and Frank, if you're watching, I think you were with me when I bought this or when I first saw it. So it's been a minute <laughs> since, since we did that little shopping spree. That's probably beginning of March now that I'm thinking about it. So yeah, um, what else? What else has been going on? So, okay, I'll be honest. I've been wanting to film this video probably since December. And it wasn't even like, it's evolved into that situation that I just like, you know, spilled out. But also there was this situation that happened last year and it involved somebody who I used to be very close with, who I have since, I will say, we've been in touch again, we've made up, we've, you know, gotten through our issues with one another. And I really appreciated that because that's somebody who I knew for a long time. I've known that person for a long time through, through some stuff. So I'm glad that we were able to talk about it. But basically there is somebody and again, I'm not gonna name names. I'm not gonna, you know, be the fire starter. I'm not gonna start drama, whatever. As much as I would love to call these people out, I don't know if it'll do me any good. I don't know if it'll do do anybody any good. I think it'll just cause more rifts. And honestly, I do believe, I believe in karma. Is that evil coded? Somebody said I said something very evil coded today and I was like, maybe it is. It was a joke though. Uh, <laughs> so I, I believe in karma. I do believe this person isn't that good of a person. And you know what? I have tried to see the good in this person. Some of my close friends have had issues with this person. I've tried to give them the benefit of the doubt. I've always been very nice to this person. I've always been very cordial with this person. I never thought I had an issue with this person until they went up and they made a lie about me, a complete lie about me. And I was so confused. And I, you know, at first I was like, you know what? I want to confront them. I want to say something. But then I was like, there's a reason they did it. And I don't want to give them the satisfaction of me trying to correct it or make it right. Because obviously they made up the lie for a reason. The reason, I don't know. I don't pose a threat to this person is all I'm going to say. This person's got a pretty big platform. It's somebody like... All I'm going to say is, is like, obviously they're not my friend. I don't follow them. I don't follow people who in like the influencer worlds who I follow like okay that's another thing like I follow like obviously I follow a lot of non-influencers which I love I love seeing the community I love interacting with the community although sometimes I will say I miss a lot of y'all so I feel really bad uh so if I do miss you I'm really sorry there's a 97% chance I will follow you at some point if I find your account or if we interact a lot I feel bad, like, if I, I, sometimes I'll notice I've been interacting with somebody for such a long time, and I'll be like, oh, I know that person, and then I look at their profile, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm not following this person, <laughs> but I love to see the community, because that really is where it's at in terms of, like, the doll community, also, this is really cute, I'm surprised I haven't, oh, it's one of those, that's really cute, there's, um, I think there might be Happy Meal toys for the movie, I'm not sure, it's probably almost done, because, Little Mermaid, little figures at McDonald's, I think are coming soon and I'm excited. I'm excited for that. People have issues with me posting about the Little Mermaid. Like it's, again, I'm not gonna be everybody's cup of tea. I'm not here to be everybody's cup of tea. I'm here to be my own cup of tea and anybody who finds me to be their cup of tea. Because again, I can't satisfy everybody. And you know what? I appreciate the people who uplift me, who maybe I can uplift, and who, who like, you know, enjoys, enjoys my content. Like, that's all I can do is appreciate that. And I have to stop, you know, I feel like a lot of people do this, and I've been really guilty of it, is feeding into the negativity. And, you know, for as many negative comments as there are, I think there's probably 12 times more positive comments, positive regards about people. 
So I have to keep that in mind, but it's so, sometimes it's hard in the sea of love and positivity, when you see the negativity, it almost feels like they're attacking. And then I, you know, I try not to go into attack mode, but I do get a little bit defensive and I'm like, you know, like maybe, maybe we need to look at things more logically. Anyways, this person made up a lie about me. I wasn't happy with it. And it, it caused a further rift between me and somebody who I used to be very close with. And it hurt me because it seemed like such a, a petty thing. And I was like, you know what? I don't pose a threat to this person. This person has a huge, huge following, like more than I could ever imagine, truthfully. So the fact that that person lied about me and I've tried to make sense of it, but at the end of the day, it, I can't help but feel it was malicious, that there was malintent there. But whatever, I can't dwell on it too much, but I'm glad I got it out now. Because I did want to talk about it before, but I think I really needed to separate myself from the situation a little bit more and give it some time. Because I found this out like late last year that this person had made up this lie about me. And I was like, you know what? I don't get it. I don't, I don't know what I did to this person. I did nothing to this person. I looked back at my messages with this person. Every interaction we've had with each other has been a positive interaction. So, it, I think it just goes to show, like, I don't even know what it goes to show, but I guess, you know, some people are not what they seem. And that, that's just part of life. Even, like, outside of, like, the influencer world, that's just part of life. And you know what? I hate to use like the terms like influencers and content creators, but that is what some of these people are. They are considered influencers and they get these huge opportunities and they get to do these amazing things. And knowing that somebody could be malicious towards me or towards my friends and all of that could uh, really have such a big platform and have a lot of people admire them. That hurts sometimes. It hurts to see. And I, I can't hide that. I can't deny that. So, yeah. Oh, okay. This is hilarious. So my friend Abe, Abe, if you're watching, hello. We were doing, um, they were watching my, my Tweevils video, my Tweevils makeup video. And they were like, I thought this was going to be a chat, not a trauma dump. <laughs> they can say that because they're my friend, but <laughs> I hope this isn't too much of a trauma dump. And I don't want to be like, you know, like I'm spilling tea, I'm talking, I'm talking crap about other people. Like, I don't want it to be like that, but I don't know. Like, I feel like it's nice to get it out of my system and put it out there. And I just feel like, uh, sometimes I feel like I, I don't know, for me personally, I feel like I do get put under a weird microscope sometimes. So when I act a little like out of character, perhaps, or what people perceive to be my character, I think some people get thrown off by it. Because when I entered the... See, I've been in the doll community a long time. I've been in the doll community since 2009. Let's get that straight. But when I entered the doll community as looking brats under this pseudonym, if you would call it that. Also, okay. Before we get into that, I do have some like LOL and tweens dolls. Oh, this is not a... This is a Shadow High doll. Do you remember when you last saw this in a video of mine? I still haven't opened it. But she, Darcy Blush, was on sale for $15. We have Golden Heart, who was 17. And we also have Court Cutie, who was also 17 at Walmart. I think they're clearancing out at some Walmarts, if not most. I've seen them for 17 at a lot of them. So if you can pick them up at those prices, I definitely think it would be the best idea to get them soon. Uh, I just, I wasn't expecting to get them so late or so soon. Like, I don't know. I've been really slow with these releases. But I'm not even doing a review. I'm just, I'm unboxing them as I, my foot fell asleep, sorry. So I lost my train of thought just a little bit. I'm sorry, because my foot got went asleep and I'm a little distracted by my foot. Okay. Ooh, I hate that feeling. And you know when I film because I do crisscross applesauce. <laughs> Some people are like, you say crisscross applesauce. And I'm like, yeah, what else am I supposed to do? 
This video is probably a mess. You're probably watching me like, yeah, you don't deserve a platform. You're a mess. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I think I, I triggered my train of thought. So I feel like sometimes as looking brats when I entered this, I came in more professional, which I can't say I've ever been like, unprofessional maybe i've been you know more goofy and silly and whatever but that, that is who i am and also when i entered the community i was really young i want to say i entered the community at possibly 11 years old so i you know i made mistakes i fought with people i you know whatever i've called people names um i've insulted people as 12 year olds 11 year olds will do on the internet but i feel like even then i would like you know learn from those mistakes and whatnot but i feel like now even more so because i came came back in as looking brats and i started looking brats and it you know was supposed to be like this professional thing and i you know i kind of wanted at first to really separate it from myself I wanted it to be its own entity. And you know what? I think it is its own entity. I feel like it's it's almost like its own brand in a sense. Not like, you know, it's not like the Bratz brand, but it's there like as almost like a compliment to the Bratz brand. And that's what I wanted to build. And that is what I've been building. And, you know, I feel like I undermine my work because I do think I've put in a lot of work. And as much as like, you know, I want to be like, you know what? I do wish... Um, I could have the opportunities that other people have had or that, you know, I, I feel bad for somebody who might have been upset that I got a certain opportunity, but I know I've earned that. I know that I rightfully deserve some of these opportunities and I'm not, you know, I can, I'm humble. I feel like I'm a humble person, but I feel like being humble doesn't equate to knowing your worth. And I feel like I know my worth and honestly... Sometimes I feel like I don't get treated like my worth, but that's whatever. Also, this doll is really cute. <laughs> Look at her face. I love her makeup. I do wish they had gone for the full braids, but this is cute too. Prototype, I think, had the full braids. So, you know what? I know my worth. I know the work that I've put in. I know the work that I'm still putting in. Honestly, I don't need to be doing most of what I've been doing. I've been doing it for free. Not saying it needs to be monetized, not saying that like, you know, I need to, you know, I'd love to make money off of it. Can't lie, I'd love to make money off of it, more money off of it. I've made money here and there off of certain things that I've done, but I don't know, I feel like some people think that like, I either am the official brand, I am an, am an official extension of the official brand, which I'm not, I am still an independent entity. And I think some people think I'm getting paid. I'm not getting paid. And I don't know what else to say about that. Have I been paid to do certain things? Yeah, I do freelance content for the official social media channels for Bratz. And that's not like a secret. Like I've done some content here and there. I don't do a ton of content. I'm not like the, one of the main creators, but I've been asked to do things. And people know like when it's my content that I make. But... I, I don't know. I don't know if people think there's, like, another agenda out there that I'm getting paid to, like, push certain things or I'm getting paid to post links or report the news or, like, I'm there to push products, which I do push products and I, you know, that's whatever, but that just feels like my nature in terms of supporting the brand. That's just me supporting the brand. I'm not getting paid to do that. My website is completely not monetized. And honestly, I don't think I can monetize it. The only thing that is monetized is the shop, which is like a merch shop, which isn't like, I don't get anything unless I make a sale on there. And I don't make sales on there often, <laughs> which is okay. Like, you know, my merch might not be everybody's cup of tea. I definitely know it's not because some people have made it very loud and clear that it's not. Sorry, I'm like ranting. I need to get this out. I think I needed to get this out. Thank you for like listening to me like rant. Um, but I've no, I know my worth. I know I've earned things. If I had seen another person get invited to the Bratz party, 
last year and I hadn't been invited, I would have been upset. And I think, honestly, I would have had every right to be upset. And the person who I believe is mad at me or upset with me, being upset that they didn't get the opportunity, I would have questioned them. I wouldn't have questioned myself. Sorry about it. <laughs> because I've put in the work. I've put in the work, is what I gotta say. And I keep putting in work. So, I'm not saying like, I'm the best. I'm not the best content creator. I'm not the best quote unquote influencer. Do I think my website serves as a very reliable, good resource for the Bratz brand? 100%. Do I know that my reporting of certain new launches and all of that is good? Yeah, I think my stuff is top tier in that respect. Like, I, I know what I'm doing. I know my worth in that regard, but I feel like sometimes people try to, like, undermine it. So, it's like, whatever. At the end of the day, like, I know... I know the good I'm doing, and... I know what I'm doing. I know the good I'm doing. And I would love... For more opportunities to be available for other people, yes. But to think that I maybe didn't deserve that opportunity over you, who I don't think earned that opportunity, not saying you the person watching me, but the person who has been attacking me, who was upset with me, yes, I don't think they deserved it over me. Did that make sense? I hope you kept up with that, because I don't know if I did. So I'm opening Golden Heart right now, and I've opened up almost all of her accessories. I really do apologize if I've just been like rambling. I'm also like getting sweaty because it's hot in here. <laughs> and I'm now surrounded by like doll boxes. But I'm glad to be opening things. Like I really need to like open things, get through things. <sighs> yeah. I, I don't know, it's just, some stuff just weighs on my mind a little bit more than it should. I shouldn't be giving this much energy towards these issues. But now that I think I've gotten them out and I've said them, I think it's going to be a little bit easier for me to move on. But yeah, I've been doing YouTube almost a year now, so that's wild. So thank you, you're watching this, I'm hoping you're supporting the YouTube. <laughs> if not, you're supporting in terms of engagement in a weird way. And I, you know what, I hope, I hope you're enjoying this ride with me. I did not expect ever to have this type of platform. I always felt like I had to confine myself into this box of being consistently like professional and serious. And like, you know what? I am a serious person. I can do things seriously. I can be a professional, and I've proven that, and I know that. I work in a field where I constantly have to be professional. Not constantly. I do get silly in my job. But that's because I've built a repertoire with my people at that job. But I, in a sense, I feel like I've built... Sorry, it's loud. I feel like I've built a repertoire with the doll community, the people who I interact with in the doll community, and I feel like I can be myself and I like that feeling and I feel like YouTube especially has allowed me to be more than just a stand-in for a brand. I don't know if that's the way I want to say it, but I feel like that's the way it, it sounds the most correct. I feel like I've been a stand-in for the Bratz brand sometimes. And I love the Bratz brand. I love the opportunities they've given me. Do I wish I could get more opportunities? 100%. Do I wish I could work a bit more with the brand? Yes. I don't work that much with the brand. Everything I do in terms of the website, in terms of social media, unless I'm receiving free product, which everybody knows because I say it verbally, I'll say it in writing, if I receive something as PR, or if it's a, it's a freelance post, which pops up on their page, not my page. It doesn't really get me any interaction or engagement. Then it's, it's all free. My website is free. My social media content is free. So 
And that's the way it is with being a creator, though, I guess. That's just the, the reality of it, is that most of it is free. It's free content. It costs no money to the viewer. Or the person who's consuming it doesn't cost money to the consumer. <sighs> Sorry, that's such a... <laughs> such a way for me to put it, but that's the way I feel like I have to put it. So yeah, if I post a link to a doll, if I post a link to my website, if I do something like that, if I'm posting a leak, not like a leak, because I don't post leaks. We can get into that. I'm not posting leaks and there's reasons, but everything I do is free of charge. I do it out of my love for the Bratz brand. I do it out of my love of being informative. I love to be informative. And that's what I think a lot of people do take for granted is how detailed I can be. I can be a very detailed person. Sometimes I can be detailed to a point where it might be annoying. But I do feel like sometimes people need to fully consume. I think is the best way to put it. Because like I'll post something and I can be like, oh, this thing, this thing, this thing, all the details. And then somebody will ask a question that is very clearly in the caption. And then at this point, I have ignored it. I have to be honest, I've ignored a lot of it because I'm like, if it's in the caption, I don't need to answer that question. Also, it's not my job to answer that question. That's the other thing is like, this isn't my job. This is something I'm doing free of charge. So if I don't have to answer, I don't have to answer it. And I, you know, sometimes I do like to answer. I like to be cordial, I like to be nice about it. I don't ever want to get snotty with people and be like, check the caption, check the caption. It's never meant like that, but it's meant of more of like, it's there, the information's there. Nobody's withholding the information from you. Um, it's either that it's in the caption or it's just not available. The information's just not out yet. So it's like, you can't expect much. You can't expect an answer. Um, and when I literally say, this is all the information I have. This is all the information that I have. You can't expect me to pull information out of nowhere. At that point, I would just be making stuff up. So I feel like sometimes some people have to understand that. Especially from the standpoint of my page has become a source for people to go to for news and all of that. So it's like, you know, if that's all I know, that's as much as everybody else is gonna know, really, until some more information comes out about something. And th that was especially like, you know, with like the Tweevils and the the Pretty and Punk Sasha leak today. It was like, that's as f far as I know. And Pretty and Punk Sasha, what was so funny today, I was like, I was a little bit annoyed. I'm, I gotta be honest, because I found the artwork on accident I was just on Walmart, like, looking for brats. Like, I was, like, you know, seeing, like, what listings were up, if there was any new, like, apparel, any, like, I don't know, like, I sometimes will find, like, backpacks and stuff on there. Or, like, you know, lately Walmart's been selling a lot of cool, like, cups and merchandise. So I was like, oh, like, let me check the website and see if there's anything new. And, of course, I accidentally stumble upon the Pretty and Punk Sasha artwork. And I was like, you know, like, oh, like, I should report on this because it's public information like it's out there it's there for the public to consume and whatever but then at the same time the doll itself leaked and just for context i do not i cannot post leaks that's both a thing that i just think it's a little rude and we can get into why but i also do not want my account to get flagged and taken down and a lot of accounts that post these leaks or repost these leaks a lot of the times they get hit with DMCA violations. I did get hit with one recently, but wrongfully so, which watch my Little Mermaid reviews about that. And a lot of the times their accounts can get flagged and taken down. And I'm like, I didn't build this since 2016 for it to get taken down. I didn't build my platform since that point of my life for it to then get taken down. It's not worth it to post the leaks, honestly, for me. Maybe it is for other people. Maybe some people don't care. But I've seen big accounts get taken down because of leaks. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not risking my account over over a news piece that people are going to get over at some point. It's not worth it for me. If it's worth it for other people, if they don't care, if they're doing things for clout, sure. But I'm not erasing my progress. Not at this point in my life. Okay, we're getting through. We're unboxing things. I have Court Cutie now. 
<sighs> okay, I feel like I've said a lot. I've said a lot. So yeah, I'm not posting leaks. Simple as that. Like, unless it's something that's public and official, I don't consider it a leak. You know what I mean? Like, if it's a listing on a website, like Amazon, like a retailer, not like Taobao or AliExpress. I'm talking like official, like it's on Amazon or it's on Walmart or Target or something like that. Or if it's like a news article, which happened recently with Sirius 3T Anna, then it's like, yeah, like I'll post about that because that's, it's there. Like it's there for public consumption. But if it's something like people are going out of their way to find links, and that is no shade like to anybody who is going out of their way to find links. If that's your gig, that's your gig. But it can't be my gig, sorry. <laughs> and if you know who to follow, you know who to follow. I'm not linking anybody. I'm not whatever. I can't, I can't do it. I can't risk, I can't risk my platform for that. And you know what? I feel like sometimes leaks ruin things. I feel like it tends to ruin things. Like it can ruin a whole launch if it wants to, truly. <laughs> if people like don't like something or they don't give it a chance because they've only seen like a leak of it. That definitely happened with the Pride Dolls for Bratz last year. Is like everything like got leaked earlier than way earlier than expected and people judged that line ahead of time and then had this preconceived notion that it was a bad line and maybe it was a bad line to some people I'm sure it was I liked it personally but I know that it wasn't everybody's cup of tea because you know it was very different for brats but I just feel like I don't know it can it can create a lot of preconceived notions about a launch before it's launched and then it could ruin that launch it could ruin the way a product sells or it could ruin the promotion for that product there's been times where i was supposed to be involved with certain launches and a leak completely ruined my chance to work with that launch which was more of the fact that i may have been the one to reveal it or whatever like i may have been the one to be part of the launch and then it's like, you know, now I can't do that potential work because somebody leaked it. And I can't control who leaks what or what gets leaked. Like, whatever, like, it happens. But it kind of does suck in that standpoint that it's taking away from content creators and people who, like, you know, kind of depend on that kind of work. For the companies, for most launches and most products, there's a team behind those products. There's designers behind those products. There's brand managers there's content creators whoever work on those projects who you know want the best for what they're doing but maybe a leak could ruin their launch it could ruin their plans just in general so i found i found it a little bit disrespectful lately just to to, to post about those types of things and i think since the series two leaks i've stopped completely and I know some people question it. I know some people are like, why? But there's why. There's more of an explanation why. So I hope I hope people understand that. But if it's like official, like it's out there, then yes, I will 100% post about it. Like if it's something that's like on Amazon, like today I found something on Walmart. Like it's fun to find those little crumbs there. And I don't think I can really get in trouble for those because that's not my fault that got posted on that platform by you, like the retailer or the company allowing the retailer to do it. So that's just, that's just my two cents on that. She's cute. Sorry. I'm like trying to fix her up. <laughs> so we've talked about a lot. We've talked about a lot tonight. <laughs> this is probably good. I hope this is good. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I don't. Oh, wait, this is so cute. It's a little visor with cat ears on it. And, you know, you put it on Court Cutie. Um, Bratz Leaks. We talked about Bratz Leaks. We talked about doll community drama. I try not to engage. I support my friends. I support the people who I love. If I dislike somebody, if I disagree with somebody, maybe sometimes I'll call it out. 
maybe sometimes I'll just block and move on. A lot of the times I'm blocking people, I'm muting people who I dislike, and I'm moving on with it because, I don't know, I don't think it's worth my energy sometimes. I really don't. Oh, she has a tennis bag. That's so cute. Oh, and there's another surprise in it. Is it a, a racket? Oh, it's just tissue paper. Work. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I think I found her tennis racket. I was like, does she not come with a tennis racket? <laughs> oh, her ball has like a, it's flocked. It says LOL on it. I love the way this racket was made. It's like bendy. Oh, and her earrings, sorry. Her earrings, one is a tennis ball, dangling. And the other one is a dangling paddle. Tennis rack, racket, rack, I don't know. Yeah, whatevs. So yeah, um, just, I've had a lot of thoughts and feelings lately. I think I really just had to like say it out loud and I can talk to my friends about it. I'll talk to my mom about it. My mom knows everything, but I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, I feel like I need, I feel like because I've put myself in the box of being like this professional, like whatever, like I look like a brand, like a storefront almost on the online realm is that people forget that I'm a human being and I'm one person. I'm one person doing what I'm doing. And it's hard sometimes, like, it, it's difficult. I love what I'm doing, yes. Do I get frustrated sometimes? Of course, I think every content creator gets frustrated at one point or another. I think the fact that not only do I do content creation, I do my website. And I work a full-time job. Like, I, I work a nine-to-five job. So, yeah, there's a lot happening in my life. And I also have a personal life, you know? So, I do a lot. I do a lot, and honestly, I'm surprised I haven't melted down completely. I've had a few meltdowns, I will say, um, more recently. But I think, I don't know, I've been really happy lately, so I'm trying to, like, stay on that high, I guess. I'm finally gonna open Carla, by the way. Like, this, she's been in her box rotting for a long time now. Since March, I think. But it's nice to express myself through YouTube or even through everything else I'm doing. I feel like I've really, I've, I've opened up a new pathway for me in terms of my social media online presence. Like, I've, you know, here and there I've posted about not Brad's dolls, like different dolls, like what I'm doing now. Like I'm, I don't have any Brad's dolls here in this area. I mean here, yes, but like in front of me, like I'm not opening Brad's dolls with you. I've been opening Rainbow Highs and OMGs and I've opened Barbies and Monster High and everything else, like everything that I love and appreciate that isn't a Brad's doll. And I feel like I've really opened my opportunities, my horizons of what I can do on social media and I've been so grateful for that and I'm so happy that people have been so open and receptive. Not everybody, there are some people who like to be like, uh, whatever, but that's their problem. And again, I'm not here to cater to everybody. I'm here to cater to my audience, the people who appreciate me and to myself. Because if I'm not staying true to myself, then what am I doing with my social media? But I've been, I've been able to joke more. I love, I love making a good joke. Like. Uh, <laughs> let's find one of those um those brass nicknames that are about like jokesters like prankster parrot <laughs> but like things like um i did this uh, this post about the mascara gate where i did yasmin doing the mini brats cosmetics and she's like yasmin here with the mini brats cosmetics mascara and i'm like i love doing silly stuff like that like it's fun to make stuff like that and i feel like it it lightens the mood and um, just being able to post about different dolls, like, I've really loved it. And I feel like I've had so much of an opportunity to do all a lot more with what I've been doing this past year. So I'm very grateful for that. So if you've supported me through that, I really appreciate you. If you're watching this, I'm going to assume there's an 80% chance you've supported me through that. <laughs> and it's... Uh... I feel like in some ways, like, I've always been seen as, like, a Bratz account. But I wanted to be like, no. 
that's not all I'm into. And I feel like, especially with Bratz not being the brand that it once was, like it's not as big of a brand as it used to be, I don't have a ton of opportunities with Bratz. So I'm like, if I can find opportunities in doing things about different brands that I do genuinely enjoy but don't have a chance to talk about a lot, then yes, I do want to jump on that chance. Why not take a crazy chance? Why not do a crazy dance? And like YouTube, like I can like sit down, I can be silly with y'all, I can be serious with y'all. I can, I can talk about whatever. I feel like I can just talk and I love that. I love being a human being because I'm a human being behind all of this. I'm not just a, an entity. I'm not just a, I'm not an industry plant or anything. Like I'm Dom. My name is Dominic and I happen to run lookinbrats.com and my social medias are lookinbrats. I am lookinbrats, but I'm also Dominic and I'm happy that I'm able to express who I am. And that's also the point of the Bratz brand, I feel like is about expressing who you are. And I feel like, yes, I feel like I can finally express myself. <sighs> I totally forgot what a rainbow high doll felt like. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, that knee's bent. <laughs> oh goodness, oh goodness, I'm a little bit of a mess. She's got that crunch in her hair. I have to redo her hair. I'm also, I'm not caught up on like anything right now. Only thing I'm technically caught up on is Bratz, but they're about to hit us with all those new releases. So we'll see if I get PR. I hope I do. <laughs> I really hope I do. Cause I'm broke. I am broke. Um, <laughs> like the brokest I've been <laughs> in a long time. Uh, frightening frighteningly broke and i feel like a lot of people are just having such a hard time lately it's hard to it's hard to want to collect things or keep up with hobbies so i feel i feel bad for a lot of people but yeah a lot of a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of moving pieces in my brain a lot of moving parts apparently um have i said everything quite yet i feel like i've talked about a lot um, yeah. I just hope, I do hope to keep growing. I hope to keep blossoming and flourishing in social media creation and my website. My website is quite literally like my baby. Like I, I don't think people understand that my website is something that I, I spent so long to craft and put together. It took me years, it took me years. I started building it in 2015 and it took me like five years to actually get it up and going. Um, it, it took so much research. It took so much of my personal time through a lot of, a lot of years there. And I really, it, it was my, it still is my passion, but it was really like a passion project of mine and it's turned into uh, it's turned into something really like I want it to, to grow more. And what I'm doing right now in terms of the way that it's going to grow, I am personally, I am so proud of myself and I, I've already been, I've been proud of what I, I don't want to get emotional. <laughs> um, I might get emotional. Sorry. I've been so proud of what I created because I know, I know what I've done. Going back to like, I know my worth, I know what I've done. I know what I've created. I know that what I've created is important. And I'm so happy that it's gotten the amount of love and support that it has. Despite like, you know, people can hate here and there, but I know what I've done. I know what I've created. And I hope that, you know, I don't want to sound cocky. And I don't think it is cocky to know your worth. So, yeah.
I, I know. Maybe it doesn't have the impact of, I don't know, what other people might be able to do. Maybe it doesn't have that same impact, but what I've created does have an impact. I think it has created a really positive impact in the doll community, the, the Bratz online community, and... <laughs> my train of thought it's going it's it's late it's getting late it's probably close to midnight at this point maybe not i hope not actually because i'd like to <laughs> i'd like to get some sleep here but i don't know i think i've done an amazing job and i think what i'm the next steps going forward with lookinbrats.com i think i think it's gonna be amazing i am so happy i'm proud of myself i am very thankful not only for the people who have supported but the people who i've been able to bring in on it so i do run looking brats by myself but i've been able to bring in people who can help me with certain aspects while i work on the logistics some people can help me with the design aspects um artwork and other like you know things that I might not have time to do or maybe I don't have the skills to do and um, I, I've been really happy that I've been able to bring people in especially community members because my, my thing most of all I think is community building because you know what <laughs> as I try to remove this plastic piece from pla packaging we for the most part we're doll collectors a majority of us are adults and the general public looks at us like we're weirdos a lot of the general public maybe some people don't care maybe some people do care some people like to put their business in i think in a time right now where a lot of there's been a lot of attacks you know towards queer people towards trans people for their identities i think it's best to promote positivity i think it's best to promote community especially in a community because the doll online community has a lot of trans people it has a lot of lgbt people period so making sure that we are staying a community and not trying to separate ourselves there are people who are going to be rude mean nasty people if you run into that just cut them out block them move on that's all that's for me i know for my own health my own sanity that's what i have to do if i want to prosper if i want to keep building the community that i want to foster um and i just i for me i don't have time sometimes i don't have time for the hate i don't have time for the negativity especially when we're living in a world that already feels so so filled with hate right now it's always it felt like it's filled with hate but even more so now i think we really need to find the love especially in a community where the general public doesn't look like, look at us like we're normal they think we're weird they think we're creepy they make gross assumptions about adult doll collectors this video is getting intense right now sorry i've opened almost all my dolls i have i have this power Rangers. I have a shopping addiction. <laughs> I have a shopping addiction. If I if if a year ago you said I'd be making this video, I would be like, shut up. No, I'm not. It was eleven bucks. It was originally like thirty-five. I found it on sale for eleven bucks and I said, you know what? Eleven bucks sold. It's mine. I own it now. Nobody can take this away from me. I think that's another thing about being an adult collector is like the things that we would have wanted as kids that we couldn't have. We, we get it now. We get it. Any which way we can, we want it, we get it. It's ours. Um, and you know what? I don't think it's, it can be a bad thing. It can lead us to trouble like financially and I don't know, maybe sometimes like hoarding. Like there's a lot of hoarding sometimes that comes with it for some folks. I know I fall into the trap a few times. I know my peers and my friends have fallen into the trap, but you know what? I think it's beautiful that we're able to to connect with others who are like-minded for the most part. If we weren't into the nasty people, gone, bye, blocked, you're done. 
but we run into the the people who really are here for our community who are here to connect who are here to to spread a, a more positive message and to just share their love of this hobby this passion we get to connect we get to make those connections i don't think i ever imagined having the friendships that i do right now the relationships that i have right now i don't think i've ever felt more loved <laughs> than i've ever in my life i mean of course my family yes but from like peers from friends i don't think i've ever felt that amount of love that i felt than being in the doll community as much sorry i think the end of this is the fact that there can be so much hate there can be so much negativity there can be things that that bog us down but we are bonded we are bonded by this one commonality and it's it sounds so dumb like it's dolls like it's, they're pieces of plastic but we find this love for them we it's in our hearts and uh <laughs> Yeah, we we want the things and we, we buy the things and it could get us into trouble in terms of like, you know, whatever. But if it makes us happy and I think what we what we need to focus on is making ourselves happy and uplifting each other. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, this is metal. This is this is a metal piece. I thought this was plastic. Have I quite said everything that's been on my mind? Maybe not. Maybe I did. If you're... If you're watching this, and if you're new to my channel, I hope this wasn't a scary first impression of me. Um, but this is me. This is me. I ramble. I can talk a lot. I can go off on tangents. I could maybe be more candid than I should be at times. Maybe I'm not candid enough sometimes, I feel. But this is my channel. I'm looking Brats. <laughs> and you're watching the Disney Channel. <laughs> and I think... I think that concludes everything. I think just about everything is unboxed right now. I do have a few other things. This one thing, I'm gonna save as a surprise. This is the packaging from the back. I will show you the front one day. Because my intention is to make as many videos as possible. To share my love, to share my passion with other people. And to connect. And share my obscure finds. <laughs> And um, I do, I bought the Betty Spaghetti CD recently. This has been a grail of mine. And shout out to my, to my Betty fanatics. I got the patch. I got the patch. <laughs> and look at the inside. It has, look at, this is like such a throwback in here. Hello, this is, this is, if you cut me open, this is what my insides would look like. <laughs> this is dark. I would bleed nostalgia. And I also got this really cute Hello Kitty bag from Five Below. Five Below is my jam lately. So yeah, that that's the tea. That's the tea. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm glad I, I'm, you know what? Maybe I'll watch this back and be like, shut up. Maybe I'll watch it back and be like, he spilled. I don't know how I'm going to feel when I watch this back. But I hope that as you're watching it, I hope you were able to... I don't know. I hope you were able to connect. And I hope I didn't... I didn't wear you down too much. <laughs> I hope I didn't wear you down too much. Because <laughs> I talk a lot. I talk a lot. Uh, yeah. But I hope you... I hope you have a fantastic, whatever time it is by you, it could be daytime, it could be the evening, it could be the afternoon, you could be not able to go to sleep, and you're just listening to me, 
to put you so to sleep or something or i hope it, it could bring somebody comfort that's you know i feel like that's why we turn to some content it, sometimes it just brings us comfort and i hope for some people i can be that comfort thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more doll content and if I do another rambling video like this, then I do one. I have more video ideas that aren't rambling, but they're about issues. Per, I don't know, like not issues, but like things. They're not, it's like nothing bad. If you're looking for drama, I think this is as most drama as it gets on my channel. And honestly, I don't think it was that that much drama. As much as it was me just recapping things and uh, yeah follow me on all socials at looking brats hold the g on instagram twitter facebook and tiktok i've got that memorized and make sure to visit lookingbrats.com something big is coming i feel i feel like something big is coming and i will see you all in the next video Bye.